Welcome back to my channel, Cat Bren Beauty. I've had this video planned for a while. This is one of the basics, and I truly think that everyone should know the basics before we start trying to advance. So in this video, I'm going to show everyone how to highlight and contour their face. Now, highlighting and contouring has gotten pretty crazy over the past couple months. I've seen people contour their legs, their boobs, contouring butts, for gosh sakes. What? Before jumping right into the video, here's a little diagram to keep in mind before we start. By using highlighter makeup, we really want to make the high points of our face stand out. So the higher points of your face have to do with the brow bone, the temples, the bridge of our nose, our cupid's bow, our chin, and the cheek of our apples. Highlighting all of these features will make everything emphasized. By contouring our face, we're really putting in definition and really sculpting out our natural line. All that really means is that we're just adding a shade underneath our cheekbones, on our forehead if we want to make it smaller, to the sides of our nose if we want to slim it down, and to our neck to make it look like we've lost weight, which is always a plus. These are all just a few ways to really emphasize your makeup and get more of a natural glow. I only put the air quotes around natural because I really don't think there's anything really natural about makeup. But you'll know what I mean at the end of the video, when everything starts piecing together. This look has so many different finishes. There really are no rules in makeup, at least I don't think so. And if there were rules, let's be honest, I would probably break them. So stick around if you everyone would like to see me do highlighting and contouring step by step. Let's get right into the video. Before I start this tutorial, I've already applied my foundation and I felt a little better with some eyebrows on. If you haven't seen my foundation video, I'll link it down below. Here's this little diagram again. I like to start by highlighting and I'm going to show you three options. First, we have this cream highlighter. All of these options are drugstore products and this one is in the shade Medium by Color Mates. The second option is a liquid concealer by e.l.f. and I love that it comes with an easy, precise applicator. Last but not least is actually another cream concealer, but it's a quick, convenient contour stick of course using the lighter shade. But for me, I like the liquid concealer since I'm in no kind of rush today. You might be familiar with the trick of drawing the Kim K triangles under the eyes for a lift, but I like to take a generous amount of product and brush three strokes to resemble somewhat of a triangle. By all starting at the same point, I find this easier to blend out. I'm going to do the same three strokes on my forehead, continuing down my T-zone onto the bridge of my nose and onto the tip. Also the corners to dilute any of my redness. Finishing off with my cupid's bow to make the top lip look bigger, and my chin. Now this is an extra step. Sometimes I will add some highlighter under my cheekbone for some added definition, because why not? Now the first option for contouring products is my True Blend Fix Sticks by CoverGirl in the shade Medium. The second option is once again my Cream Contour Stick by Wet n Wild, now using the darker shade. And the third option is my beautiful cream palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Love this one. But I'm going to be choosing the CoverGirl stick and start to carve out my cheekbones. Now like I mentioned in my last video, the most common way to contour this area is to start at the top of your ear and end in the outer corner of your eye. Sometimes for a more dramatic look, I'll drag it a little past that point. Next I want to contour under my bottom lip to make it look bigger, and my forehead and the sides of my face to make it look smaller. However, I dab the product lightly on my temples because it's easy to make the face look too sunken in if it's too dark. Now I drag the product under my chin to make it appear thinner, and also on the sides of my nose highlight to give my nose dimension and seem smaller in width. And now we're ready! <laughs> ready to blend! Now I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender by Real Techniques, and wait! Tell me if you guys remember this trick from my hacks, we're going to wet the sponge! Because if we don't already know, blending without a wet sponge is a nightmare. We're just going to start blending underneath our eye. It's all personal preference, but when you do blend your eye, look up. Make sure we really get that coverage right underneath our eyes. The next few seconds are pretty repetitive. You'll just see me blending out everywhere we originally put highlight. But you won't see me doing any long sweeping motions because we took the time to put all of the products in a specific place and we wanted to stay where we put it since we put it there for a reason.
Now I'm just taking my stippling brush. This one's just by e.l.f. It's nothing fancy. And I'm going to start blending my contour in an upwards motion, not downwards. We want everything to look nice and lifted. That's why we're going to do it in small little circles, blending upwards. Just like with any other face product that we put on our face, we want to move our hair and make sure we really blend it into our hairline. Now I'm just going to the other side of my face and doing the exact same thing. But I'm also checking to make sure that everything is nicely blended. If I see that an area is not blended as well as it should be, I will go back and blend it even more. Now the trick to blending out your jawline is to make sure that you don't go too far onto your neck to make it look like a 5 o'clock shadow. That would not be pretty. When it comes to blending out my nose, I actually pick up my beauty blender again instead of the stippling brush because I almost want you to see those two contour lines that I drew so it gives the illusion that my nose is a lot slimmer. Now that we've blended everything out, we have to set our liquids and creams with any kind of powder. I'm going to take it one step further and actually bake my face with this translucent powder by e.l.f. With my beauty blender, I bake under my eyes because they tend to crease, my chin because it's a common area to touch during the day like if I'm leaning on it, and under my cheekbones to really intensify and clean up my contour. I think a lot of people confuse setting and baking. However, baking is actually a technique taken from the drag queens of the world. And baking is actually somewhat of a literal term. You take that translucent powder like this one and pack it onto the area you want to bake. You have to put so much on because the powder actually clogs all of our pores, making the heat from our bodies literally bake the makeup on, which is why it works so great. We just have to let it cook a little longer. While it's cooking nicely, we are going to now set our contour with a nice dark powder from this e.l.f. palette. Get a nice amount of product on a flat powder brush and blow the excess off. I don't do that tap thing. I just think it's so unnecessary. <laughs> but in nice circular motions, little circular motions that is, we're just going to go back and cover anywhere that we put cream contour with the powder contour. Just remember, do not make yourself look like you have a beard while you're doing your jawline again. Going back in with the same shade from the e.l.f. palette, but a different smaller angled brush now to go over our nose contour. With this step, you really need to be precise because this is the actual line that is going to define your nose. Now it's time we can take our face out of the oven. You guys will remember this hack from my hack video where we have made a fan brush. You can also use any of these big powder brushes, but why not use the one we created? Just going to go back in and brush everything off very lightly, making sure that I don't move the product around, and swipe off any of the translucent powder. Now we have another option for highlighting. The first one is this Jumbo Eye Pencil, but I love to use it on my face for a nice highlight. The second option is the highlighting shade from the palette, but if you couldn't tell, I love my pencil. I'm just going to put it on the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, underneath and on top of my eyebrows, as well as my cupid's bow, and dab everything in with my finger. The reason for this step is simply to give all the places where the natural light would hit them, just to give it an extra glow. It also looks great in photography. While using the pencil still, I will put some in the corner of my eyes to really brighten up my eyes and also make them look bigger. Using the fan brush again, I will actually use the palette for some highlight. I think the crayon wouldn't give my cheeks the right texture, but this powder is a nice added detail as well. And just like that, we are highlighted and contoured. <laughs> I'm just kidding, there was a lot more than just that. There were a lot of steps to get us here, but the end result is amazing. I hope you guys can see a huge difference. Alright everybody, that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you guys learned how to highlight and contour correctly. I hope everyone sees a big difference between my round face from before and now once I've highlighted and contoured, how chiseled and sculpted my face looks now. Please give me a thumbs up if you guys liked this video. Comment down below on videos you would like to see next or feedback for myself. Press that big red subscribe button. I've told you once and I'll tell you again. It's free. And you guys will never miss another one of my videos. Now go bake your faces, ladies. Bye.